In this short tutorial, we'll take a look at using the smooth modifier for reasons that might be, not be so obvious. Now, in this case, we'll start by grabbing this because I have this vertex in here that's just really way out. Let's see if we look in close on that. Let's see what its problem is. Oh, maybe it's just cutting into there. Well, I could go manually fix it, you know, but let's just go see what the smooth modifier will do to it. And then I'll show you what we'll really use the smooth modifier for anyway. So here is my modifier. Let's see, I'll just close that, make sure I'm the right one. Modifier with the wrench. Go get smooth down here. And then I'm just going to leave this as kind of like the how strong it is. And then I'm just going to apply it once by clicking here. Let me zoom in so you can see this edge and that in particular. And you can see it starts cleaning it up right there. Let's try it again. And it cleans it up again pretty good there. All right, so that's pretty cool. And that might give you the effect you want. But really the cool thing might be that you get a timeline down here. And maybe you set this down here at 0 or 1 or close to it. And I'll set a keyframe. And the keyframe I'm going to use is, yeah, well, I don't know if I can use a keyframe or not. Uh, we're going to try. We're going to do the repeat. See if I can do. Oh, look at that. That is unbelievable. So, what we're going to do is we're going to morph this hand into maybe a, uh, you know, an animal of some sort. Just say maybe you're making your sci fi movie and, you know, or your werewolf movie or something. Right? Now, just by changing this, let's go up to frame 180 and we'll just change the repeat value on it and just see what I mean. So, suddenly. You know, we've changed the shape here to maybe look like more of a paw, you know. You can see where I'm heading with it. And then maybe you were use, maybe you could be using it in conjunction with this uh, mesh deform modifier that we had over here. In fact, I wonder, well, let's put this in here. Let's keyframe that right there at the same time. Let's see if our mesh deform modifier wants to come back into play also at the same time. Since it was mapped to the hand in the first place, I don't know if it will maintain that mapping but maybe we'll, we want to make the fingers grow so let's come into here and grab these uh, we'll grab this top edge and we'll grab all these faces on top let's do it with uh, vertex select mode okay all right there they're all like now so now let's see if we can take these and also move them uh, I guess the I guess when I moved it out of the way it didn't work so let's just see if we can go reapply well let's see if that animation runs it before we do it let's see oh so there it is so you could do your morphing effect using the smooth modifier on the <laughs> who would have thought right and then let's see if we can also let's see if we can actually still do this I've got the cube now I'm gonna apply that I'll go get the mesh deform modifier I'll go to get the cube 01 which was the name of this here and I'll bind it. Okay, it's there. Let's go look at the cube. So now in here, in this case, I don't see anything. I don't know. I'm just going to try and set a keyframe. Why don't we, let me try. What kind of keyframe would I set? Visual? I doubt it, but I'll try it. Okay, we'll try it. And then we'll come up to here to 180 and then we'll go back in here to this and then we'll move this up here like that. That should be at 180. Let me see. I'm going to try this. And then I want to try and set that. All right, let's leave edit mode. Try and set it here. Let's see what happens from back here. From the beginning, so visual keyframes don't work on that. There must be another way to set it on that. Let me grab this hand and maybe it overrode my smooth modifier anyway. It appears to have done it. So maybe you can't mix them both together. Well, I tried, right? Move this back out of the way. Let's see what happens on this keyframe. No, it looks like my original modifier is gone. All right, well, I'll let you experiment with that, and I'll experiment with it as well. Maybe there's a way to mix and match. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. And uh, you might have to mix it in conjunction with the armatures or with shape keys. Don't know. All right. Well, that's it. I'll see you in the next lesson.